on no sign. Who's going to sign your check? Okay. Okay, boo. Yeah. Hey, pa. hey, diamond. You know, I usually I just kind of watch you from the outside, but I just want to say this: Nikki is not lying. I don't know why, because a lot of people was hitting me up and they was like, "Can you go talk to Pumpkin?" Because she's trying to do this reality show. Here's the thing, Pumpkin. I gotta. Mm -hmm. I'm a. I'm coming to you because I'm just gonna come straight out. Like it's not yes. a thing picking no size or none of that. First of all. Um, the networks, what y'all think they looking for, that's not what they looking for. That's first and foremost. Second of all, if you're putting your money and you're investing into this show, under no circumstances should no part of your show be on Bego. Because what are you giving people to, you know, you you already, it can't be called a reality show when you already giving them what's supposed to be given. Then not only that, they're not going to take you serious because they're looking at you like you don't have your cameraman, your camera crew, or your cast members under control. First of all, before I even attempt to invite anybody out, when I pick my cast, you're going to sign a non-disclosure. If you can't sign a non-disclosure and you can't go by the rules, and how it's supposed to go. You can't be on my show. Once we start filming, the phones are off. If I got to have your phone taken and your phone get turned off and you can get your phone back at the end of the filming session, then that's what you do. But I'm telling you now, you're going to spend money and trying to put something out there and they're not going to take it. Because I'm telling you, I'm filming now and I'm letting you know they what you think they want is not what they want. All that arguing and playing, which they know that it's a little drama gonna be taking place but if you think that that's what's gonna get you on tv it's not going to get you there and I, and and if you got cast members that's being disrespectful and they don't understand it they don't understand it because they ain't never filmed they don't understand it because they don't know the business part. And if you watched me since I've been on Big O, even with the music industry, I've always said people need to learn the business part and stop trying to jump into a radio and TV when you don't understand the business part. You got to have your paperwork together. And I hear a lot of people say, well, I bought my name and I, I bought the name of the show. You couldn't have bought the name of the show if you just came up with it and you doing it three days later. You got to send that shit in. You got to have your shit copywritten you got to go through the paperwork first because what's going to happen is it's nothing for somebody to steal your show and get a and, and get somebody that can film this shit and shoot a trailer and pitch it and that's why i say i can't take a lot of people serious because i know for a fact your paperwork ain't done because it's nothing to if, once you go through the secretary of state and look that name up and then you got to think about it too did you take your concept and did you copyright and register your concept yeah. if you didn't do that it's open for people to take it no i did it saying? i did it I exactly did so you know, you have to, you, you got to get people, it's a process to that shit. You got to get yeah. your lawyers involved. It, it, yeah. and, it's, and that's even with me. It's a lot of stuff. I, that got, a, I, I, I got a whole team. That, and yeah, and, and that's why I said, and another thing yeah. that you can't do, Pumpkin, just because it don't work, it don't mean give up. It means that you need to take time out within yourself. You need to sit back. You need to analyze. You need to reconstruct. And you need to just redo it in another way. But you can, have, I, can I say something? So when I'm filming, damn it, this damn it, I don't go live. That you may not you may not go live but if you got other people in the house that's going live because that's a breach of contract you can't do that and the thing about it is you're not giving us anything if we anticipate to see a show how can we be anticipating on seeing the show when we already know what the fuck going on should nobody on this app know that and, and, and the cameraman got into it should nobody know that uh, should nobody on this app know that you and your cameraman got into it should nobody on this app know that you and everybody else got into it should nobody know who fucking who if they doing anything nobody should know none of that that should be something that we should be anticipating on but, seeing but can I say this damn it and this is why i get into it with certain individuals in the house because of stuff like this and let me just say this when i went live when, in the camera situation it was not film time when i got into it with the girls it did none of that get on film that was a real life situation then on top of it the candy thing like that my cameraman had already left that like none of, none of that was None of that was a part. Now, who he fucking, that, that's not my business. 
I mean, but what I'm saying, pumpkin, everything that's done should nobody it, it shouldn't even be a time where people come back on social media and repeat what is going on. That is a breach of contract. But with all due respect, it has to start with you. And my thing is, whether you're a friend or foe, or I'm talking to a dumb asshole, if you can't respect my motherfucking move, then I can't deal with you because my name is what I have. You yeah. can take everything else. You can take you can take my car keys. You can take anything you want, but you cannot take my name because my name is who the fuck I am, and my name is my brand. You don't. I don't care who it is. Under no circumstances do you allow. I don't care if it's Diamond P. If it's me, you don't allow nobody to fuck up your name. Your name is all you have. No, I'm not hollering, um, beautiful. No, I'm, just, I'm just passionate about what I'm saying because I'm in the entertainment industry. And it's a lot of people that jump off in this industry and they don't understand the business part because they're so busy trying to just jump into it. So I'm not hollering. I'm not being mean. I'm just being passionate. And your name is all you have, Plumpkin. Your name, that, that's, that's, that's what you brand. You brand yourself. You brand your name. You brand your business. And it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you know, it's just what it is. And a lot of people don't like to hear the truth because they're so busy wanting people to be behind them or stand. And I don't want to stand behind nobody. If I fuck with you, I'd rather stand beside you and not behind you because if I'm standing behind you, you don't know what I'm doing. I could be throwing all kinds of knives at you. So I'd rather stand beside you. But one thing about it, Plumpkin, you have to not, I'm not saying that you're not listening. That's not what I'm saying. No, I'm listening. You, you gotta, you have to listen because if a person fuck with you in real life on real nigga time, real nigga shit, they'll tell you the real. They will tell you, you might not like it, but they'll tell you because they care. And it's so often that it'd be a lot of people that jump into this entertainment life and they don't understand it. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. But do the business part. And, and the thing about it is, like I said, no matter who you work with, they have to understand that it's rules. It's just like when you go to somebody's house, they got rules in their house. I don't care how old you are. They got rules. You got to yeah. respect. Them. If you can't respect it, what happens? They tell you to leave. And that's just it. But you got it. Damn. I received that. I received that. She's not hollering, y'all. That's the way Diamond talking. You listen to her broadcast. That's the way she talks. She talk like that. Hello, Miss Pumpkin. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Thank you, baby. I'm doing pretty good. I was watching this morning on what was going on over there. Mm -hmm. This is my thing, boo. How do you get into it with these people and still, you know, put yourself in a situation to be around these people, Pumpkin? These no, 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 fake, no, no. That's what I say. Mm -mm. Like, like, yeah. come on. She was just going at you about this shit before this shit was going to happen. Now, all of a sudden, you know I mean, it happened and motherfuckers do you like that? Everybody that was over there in that motherfucker is grown as a motherfucker. Them motherfuckers should have helped you clean that place up. But you motherfuckers looking for some deposit back. It don't work like that. Like for real though, pumpkin. Like, 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 stop dealing with these motherfuckers. Do what yeah. you do, man. Only look out for you and you only. That's all you're supposed to look out for. <laughs> like for real. Like, like, like. I'm tired of seeing people get into it with people on this app, and then y'all turn around and hanging around these motherfuckers. Keep these people's out your space. Yes. Like real talk, pumpkin. Like real shit. I mean, motherfuckers talk bad about you. Motherfuckers try to embarrass you. you know I mean, motherfuckers try to do all kind of shit with you. you know I mean, you give your you give your love out to the wrong people. You know I mean, fuck these people on this app. Yeah. Like, like for real, pumpkin. Keep pushing. Keep doing you. And always understand this: the good Lord gonna always have your back. He will never let you down. Amen. I received that, brother. I received that. I received it. I received that. I received that. And I, I know that's true. But you know what? Furthermore goes to let me know. Hold on. Let me tell y'all something. 
I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, God, I need some confirmation. Like, was I wrong for tripping about the phones? Well, Jesus was like, am I wrong? And then the moment I hit this live, you know, Diamond P don't come in my room like that. She came right in the box and she said it. She said, if they go on anybody else's show, they will not be able to have their phones. She said, during, during filming hours? No. But when I say something about it, it was just chaos. And I didn't even know a lot of stuff got leaked out and, and different things like that. But there was some real eye-opener stuff. There was some other stuff that Diamond P said. But like, but like, I, but like I said too, y'all, Diamond P right. She's right. Everything that Diamond P said, I wanted it to be professional. Everything. Everything, but I'm just saying some is is women in Chicago. Women in Chicago, they don't they don't get the concept like like women down south. The only way a woman in Chicago will get it if they see it's already built, it's already built. People already got a name. If the show's already hot and popping, that's when they respect it. But when you're trying to take women from Chicago and you're trying to get it from the ground zero. They find every little thing. Oh, I can't use my phone, but oh, I can't. I can't keep my phone. Oh, you can't tell me that. That would have been another argument. You can't tell me, bitch, about my motherfucking phone. This is my motherfucking phone, bitch. You don't pay no motherfucking bills. It would have been that. And it's like it, it's like every little thing that I said in that house was up for argument. It was up for debate. It was up for, and then it's like, and it's like, honestly, it, it was like a, I feel it. I'm a ride with it. I third agree it. And hell yeah, I'm riding. So it was just like, and it's like, everybody got to build up. It's a build up because I'm asking certain things of the show. And they looking at me like, bitch, you ain't got no manpower. Bitch, you ain't even no your real woman. You ain't even got no baby. You can't tell me shit. And that's how it came out today. And then it's just like, you know, they like, oh, um, you know, I talked to my daddy. I told my daddy, that bitch ain't got no kids. She got a fucking dog. But not realizing a dog is a responsibility as well. If you don't take care of that dog, that dog going to die. If that dog, gonna go, if that dog don't go to the vet, that dog going to get sick. If that dog don't go get groomed, that dog gonna be nappy and matty and can't nobody call me. It's gonna be hell for motherfucking the captain. But it, it's like, oh, I look at it. Oh, that dog. I know some people out here that take care of their animals more so than I've seen some people, humans, take care of their kids. You got to buy your dog strollers. When you go out of town, your dog don't get on for free. You got to pay a ticket for your baby, your fur baby to get on. A fur baby is just like a real baby in my book. And no, I don't have kids, but I'm wise enough to know what's right and what's wrong. I know that I wasn't manip I You cannot manipulate me and tell me that I was wrong through everything that went on. Then everybody's like, oh, well, we got to find things to do. But when we did find things to do, certain situations got disrupted. We had to go back out to Gary because I need to film too. I want to I wanna film the rest of my little stuff that I paid for. So now that we out here, Gary. But the crazy part about it is, wasn't none of them feeding into nothing. And to Ivy said what she said. And then that's when all, both of them jumped on the bandwagon of, oh, this bitch. And then it was the other third wheel. So it's just like, but Ivy realized, like, okay, let me calm down. But after Ivy came down, calm down, they was already feeling it. They was they was already feeling it. They was they was already it was it was already it was already planted. It was already ready to go. And then the young lady kept on saying, "All y'all do is go live and big." I don't. I wasn't even going live. I wasn't. The, I promise you. Even in an Airbnb, I never went live. I was broke as a muck bitch. I was broke. 
I was broke. The, the first Airbnb we did, I had to come home and dip in my stash and go back out. Because I was broke. And then it's like, it's been like you know, like, it, it, it's like, you know, I don't beg. But the thing is, like, I, when, I, when I film, I film. I don't worry about what social media talking about. And and, and y'all, y'all my witness. Say, say I'm lying. When we first started filming, did y'all see me go live? When I first started filming, did y'all ever see me go live? I even went in there and told, I even asked them, y'all, why y'all drop the, 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 the internet? Uh, what link in there? Why would y'all do that? Cause I knew what it was gonna do. I knew it, but I put everybody in the group chat because I want to keep in touch with everybody. I wanted everybody to get to know one another. I wanted everybody to get comfortable because we are living in Chicago and we are living in dangerous days. I know that. Everybody said in the group chat. Everybody was talking for two to three months. I said, "Yeah, y'all want to start filming? Sure." I ain't try to rob these ladies. I ain't try to take nothing from them. And they say, well, we sacrifice. I sacrifice as well. I didn't take nobody time for granted. I didn't look at nobody and say, oh, this person ain't worth it. And this person ain't this, this. I never did that. I didn't. Everything that I was asked of, I tried to meet it or halfway did it. I tried. Girl, put my foot down. Some of them people I don't even want to be around no more. I don't even want to put my foot down. Girl, I don't I do not want to go through none of that shit with these people again. Hey, sister, talk your shit. I don't. Cause guess what? They are so they are so immune to all oh, bitch. I don't gotta listen to you. It's a lot of stuff that I'm about to cut out. I'm not starting over. I'm recasting, but I'm not starting over. I'm not. I put too much work, sweat, put myself in harm's way. And everything. Spend too much money. I, I visualized this. God gave me the green light for it. And I know, I, cause I said too, I said, I said that, I said, did I psych myself out to go do some shit? But no, I really feel like this is what I need to do. I know that one thing that I did, cause this is my first rodeo. My first rodeo. And one thing, and one thing that I I learned in life, and a lot of people, y'all don't know my side, in for real. I'm a very, very, I believe in giving people respect. I do. Thank you, babe. I believe in giving people respect. I believe in, I, I believe in, if you know, I believe if you scratch my back, I scratch your back. That's what I believe in. I don't believe in I don't believe in being selfish to people, but I know everything that I asked of any woman in that household was was legit. Was legit. Hey Charlie. It was it was legit. All I say, y'all. Y'all, can we clean up? Can we stop half cleaning? And y'all, can we clean this? They had, somebody took a cup that had some wine in it. They took it and just rinsed it, and the wine was still at the corners of it. And I feel like, I feel like, we, you know, we grown. We got germs. We, we, you know, we do certain things, and I just, all I ask is like, look, y'all, let's do this, let's do that. You go in the bathroom. People just got their towels thrown up on top of the 
the, the, the shower. But I didn't even say nothing about it. Because I was like, you know what? Excuse me. I said, you know what? I said, I ain't going to even say nothing about it. Then when I say, y'all, can we clean up? Oh, we did clean up. What I do, I walk through the Airbnb. It was cups here, wine cups here, shot cups here, uh, uh, plates here, this here, that here. And guess who got stuck with it? Me. After everything that went on, I still had to stay my black ugly ass there and clean up that Airbnb. I did. I, I still had to stand my black ugly ass up there. I had to go downstairs. I had to get all the, somebody, somebody even left a cigarette pack on the table. I had to get everything. Everything. Hey, sister, how you doing? Hey, babe. I know, because I know you, like, did you let them know or did you ask them up front, like, look, you guys, like, we're going to have to pitch in and we all going to have to help a, have a helping hand and, like, clean up behind each other. And if not, you know, if not clean up behind each other, at least just clean up behind ourselves. That's what I had one day. Okay, so, like I said, a few of the girls did clean up. Mama cleaned up, honestly. Nia did clean up. Ivy cleaned up. It was only like three or four other girls that did not clean up. And it was irritating. But when I when I go and ask, like, okay, y'all, so who left who who got these tin cups in here in this one plate? I just cleaned up. That wasn't that wasn't girl the, the clean the the faster you clean, the more the dishes came. Swear to God. It's like you could go here, you could grab a glass, and you could have one, it's gonna be three more. You could grab three, it's gonna be six more. And it, Damn. girl, Somebody was drinking half of the bottles of water, just stacking the bottles up. But to be honest, but to be honest with you, that's something that like you shouldn't even have to explain. If you're a woman, you're a clean, you're a clean woman. You gonna when you get there, you gonna clean up behind yourself, or you gonna clean as you go. And then look, then I say, you know, last time everybody was complaining, he was like, you know, it could have been courteous for food, cause blah blah blah. So when we got there, I was like, okay, um, we was waiting on the uh. The Airbnb lady to bring the, the dish up. She said she wasn't gonna be there to have the twelve. So I said, y'all, I said I'm about to get ready to go to McDonald's. So I got ten sausage milk muffins. I got five egg muffins, and they gave me four hash browns for free. So that mean you was feeding them breakfast too, pretty much. I did. Then, 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 what well, the girl needed? She bought the tacos. So they made tacos, nachos. I cleaned the I cleaned the I, I cleaned up after that because I was the last one to eat. I was the last one to eat, so I had you know I had ate my little nacho taco whatever I ate. Then I got up, I cleaned up, then um, chocolate swept the flow, and then that was it. Um, then that was that was Friday. Saturday we got up. The dishes was like the dishes the like I don't know it was just run page like it was just crazy. So it was like. Somebody went in there. It was, you know, everybody was eating and throughout the night. So dishes went back in there. So we got up the next morning. Wasn't no dishwashing liquor. So I had to call the Airbnb. I could show y'all all of it. I had to call the Airbnb lady and ask her for some firewood and some dishwashing liquid. And she said we'd be there at, after 12 o'clock. So they dropped off the firewood because we wanted to do like the s'mores thing. Oh, okay. To make a long story short. They put the dishwash, dishwash liquid in the house. I had bought some. I left it. I said skip. I left. I left a lot of that stuff there. So we had bought. We had bought like like dishwasher liquid. I bought sponges and everything to so wash the dish. So come around. Um. So make a long story short. So I couldn't. I couldn't. Could nobody wash dishes? Could nobody? Cause what we didn't have no dishwasher. I went to McDonald's. I got all the food. Everybody's like, I don't eat no motherfucking McDonald's. Everybody. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, they said that all they said they don't you know fucking McDonald's. Yeah, they said, but they had they they had they had breakfast. So they cooked they cooked their bacon, they cooked their sausage. So I asked them, I said, Y'all can y'all clean up the breakfast dish dishes? I didn't even eat breakfast because 
my greedy ass ate McDonald's, you know, I ate the McDonald's, so they, they cooked their breakfast or whatever, so I was like, who gonna, I was like, who gonna clean up the breakfast plates or whatever, so they took all the food, they piled it on top of the, 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 the little skillet in the back, and they was just eating it as they go, but then it's like the cups and plates and stuff was in, so I came back with the chicken, and they was, somebody washed the dishes, but then when I came back with the chicken, it was like, Ten cups in there. Half full of wine, some had old wine. So I'm like, y'all, I'm like, I can't cook on, I, I cannot cook on top of dirty dishes. Mm -hmm. I cannot, I, I don't care where I cannot cook on top of dirty dishes. I can't. It, you really can't cook on top of dirty dishes. To be honest with you, you can't, you can't really cook and really maneuver in the kitchen if it's dirty. I cannot. So, I came up in there, and I had the chicken. I think I think Chocolate went. She she uh she washed the dishes. So I put the I put the stuff in the refrigerator. So we all getting ready to go to the uh the, you know to the young lady um event. Some things had end up getting switched getting switched out. So I had to pay for me my my camera guy to come. We all hopping in, like, they couldn't even sit, they couldn't even fit in the camera guy car. So I said, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to drive because I want, because this is, this is a special event. So things switched up, she can't help that. Okay, fine. So, so we went back to, we came back to Gary. So now, like, we, we at Gary, we chilling, everything is normal. Everything is normal. We stop at the liquor store. I'm like, y'all, we got it. We're gonna do the drinking game. So, mm. and then, and then, I didn't even, I didn't even tell Nia to drive my car. I say, let's drive my car. Mm -hmm. Drive my car. So, we stop. We go. To, we go to a a, a a liquor store. I go. I buy the liquor. I buy my little liquor. You know. So I'm I'm buying the liquor. You know. I'm just chilling. Just I'm I'm in a good mood. I already knew Keith was coming over. I knew Keith was coming over. I knew. Ivy called me, and Ivy said, "She said, Pumpkin. Uh, she said, Pete and um, KLB here. Can can they come to the Airbnb or to the hotel? So we like, yeah. So then things end up happening. They went out. They sat and ate dinner. So, uh, Keith was like, Keith came through or whatever. I was in my room. I mean, Ivy had just got into it. Keith came through the door. Everything was cool. I mean, Ivy was hot. Everything was cool." This is what I don't understand. Well, we, but well, well, every I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna ask this one last question. That I'm gonna let phenomenal woman go. Um, but where where did it go wrong, gay? Like what? Like, like I'm trying to tell you. So we okay. all down, we all downstairs, and the conver oh, so the conversation sparked up about Ivy. They told her. So the conversation sparked up because Ivy, Ivy went upstairs and went to bed. So the conversation sparked up about Ivy and and something like um Tito's was uh for 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 women that that fix on cars. But we was laughing. I was like I was like y'all wouldn't say that shit in our face. I was like so I was like I was like I was like y'all like, wake up and I was like go wake up and tell her how y'all feel about it. Cause I feel like I feel like every time like Ivy be around, it's like they didn't they didn't they didn't. Did nobody really give Ivy that energy? So I was just like, so I got mad, like, but if it was me or whatever, you know, they would have been direct. So I was like, y'all, I was like, y'all ain't gonna say that shit in our face. I was like, go wake up. So I guess that was like a push for them, like. And they was like, I'll go wake that bitch up. I ain't, ain't no bitch gonna do shit to me. And any bitch that when I say, bitch, you don't have to like it, I'll beat your ass a woo. So it got it got to that one. Then it got to, like I said, leave me the fuck alone. I'm trying to find me some dick. I don't give a fuck about none of these bitches. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. I said, but like I said, I said, because y'all all say I'm fake and I'm phony. Because if I would have said something, they would have went right back to Ivy. And they would have like, well, Punkin said this last night. And Punk it. So I was just like, y'all, that's just going to hit because I got tired of it. I'm like, that's going to hit it. Just wake Ivy up. And it's just tell Ivy how we feel. So that's what kind of like triggered it. So... Ivy was asleep, so I see Nia left the group. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, everybody going to sleep. 
Um, so me and Dre, me and, um, me and Bree kind of got, had words about the bowl or whatever. I'm just like, in the, in the, in the camera, like, y'all arguing over a bowl of water. And I was like, it's not about the bowl of water. It's about the water being there all night and how I didn't, how I didn't know it was, you know, full of water. So make a long story short. So we going at it or whatever. So the girl get up like, ain't no bitch going to da da And I, I was like. I'm like, Brie, for real. I'm like, so it comes to us in a fight? I'm like, because like, at this point, so now I'm like, so it comes to the point that y'all want to fight because I'm telling, like, the truth. Like, I never knew nobody to put water on top of the refrigerator in a bowl. Like, I have never had that. So I'm tired too, y'all. So I, I've been up two days straight. Remain two days straight. Two days. So it's just like, so we get to arguing over some water. Make a long story short. So, so I got into it with her. So I'm like, my mom, then I'm like, I'm surprised that you even jumped on this. I'm like, I've been knowing you ever since you've been a little girl. I'm like, I'm surprised. And she's like, I ain't jump on shit. I'm, I'm like, I said, you got to put names on it. But my mom don't even talk like that. that that's, that's not how mama talk. Mama, mama talk just like I, how I talk. If she have a problem with somebody, she be like, motherfucker got me fucked up. I don't know who the fuck a bitch think I am. But that's just how we talk. So I was really surprised that she even went to that to that extent to act like that too. Yeah, she do. She got 10 brothers and she got five sisters. And I know all of them. So I didn't, because like, I've been on my mind ever since she was eight. He had from a duck. So I came down like I just hit like I just seen him in the face like so I come down I was like y'all what y'all talking about why y'all talking about me so they so everybody's like laughing and they like talking about you and he's like they was like come get a shot come get a shot and I don't drink no goddamn Tito's I'm not drinking no shots so I'm like I'm not I'm not I'm like I'm not gonna take no shots or no shit like that so make a long story short so um. Everybody went to bed. My mom got on the phone, I think, with her sisters or her cousins. So she come out the bathroom. She got her eyelashes off. So now she bucking. She like, and like the fuck I said, I swing all through this bitch. And I'm like, I'm like, what is she talking about? So I'm like, Mama, what are you talking about? And she's like, this motherfucking nigga called me a bitch. So now she, so she getting riled up. So I'm telling Cammy, like, just be quiet. Just be quiet, Kim. Just be quiet, please. Just be quiet. Make a long story short. So she she going off. She going off. So now I I tell Kimmy, I said, Kimmy, just go in the room with my dog, please. Cause I know I know how they get out there running the house and pull you out and beat you up. So I'm like, Kimmy, just go in the room, please. Go just go in the room with the dog. Go in the room. So I'm just walking around the house. I'm straightening up, straightening up. So that, you know. Cammy, Cam, Cammy acting a fool. So Cammy reading the comments like, so I'm I'm in my room now. So I'm like I'm like okay, everybody gone. I'm like, at least I can get it's around like nine o'clock. I'm like at least I can get like an hour before for rest because my eyes were so heavy. Make a long story short, Cammy in the front room like, and that bitch ain't gonna pull my wig off. I'm gonna beat a motherfucking ass. I'm gonna beat that bitch punkin ass. So the first thing tricky for me. Kimmy came out the room and Kimmy was like, cause I was like, I was like, Kimmy, don't be in here rattling in my purse. But I'm just, I was just playing. She, she snuck one, I snuck one. So now Kimmy run out the room 15 minutes like, you did that bitch to jump that mom, I'm gonna go in your purse. You got my mom up there now, I'm not gonna go in your purse. I said, Kimmy, please. I said, come on. I was like, you know, I was just playing. Kimmy, you know, I was just playing. I was like, you know, damn well, I know you're not gonna go in my goddamn purse. Now Cammy like, um, you know, no, because you so ungrateful. And, and then so now Cammy sitting up in the front room. See, I don't know if y'all seen this or Cammy showed y'all. So Cammy in the front room starting shit with mama. Mama calm down. I calm down. So now we in the front room. So Cammy come out there like, didn't you say you didn't trust him? I'm like, what are you talking about? Didn't you say you didn't trust him? So if y'all was on the live, my mom said, good, I got rid of all of them. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, they all they all left. Cammy said, good, I got rid of all of them. And then like she she did her hands like this. She's like, she's like, 
I got, I got rid of all of them. So I'm like, what is Cammy talking about? So I go in my room, I lay down. So Cammy like Cammy in that, Cammy in that room um, talking about, yeah, cause I, uh, I got rid of the whole house. So I go live on my device. They like, girl, why Cammy all down there in your basement? She all underneath the bed trying to find stuff. She all in the back room where the green room was at. Like I know you lying. At this point, Cammy said that her her, her lip was on the way. I said I know you lying. I get on my other device. I, I see Cammy coming up the goddamn stairs. I said, Cam, I said, what is you doing in that basement? Don't the bitch, don't come at me like that, bitch. Don't come at me, bitch. Uh, like I said, bitch. So I'm like, Cammy. I said, please shut I said, please shut the fuck up for talking to me like that. Cause you dead ass wrong. I said, you dead ass wrong. Bitch, I did that. Like I said, bitch, like I said, bitch, you did bitch, you got me fucked up, bitch, you did that. So I'm just like, you know what? At this point, I'm like, can we please stop? So I'm still, I still ain't kicking Cammy out. Cammy in the front room threatening me like, oh, go over there and whoop that bitch ass. So that's when I was like, Cammy, you got to go. Cammy was sitting there, I mean, screaming to the top of, top to the top of the lungs. Go ahead, boo. Pumpkin, I, I really don't know what kind of relationship you got with ivy outside of bigo but when you always seem to be in some type of verbal you know confrontation with her where it could be physical sometimes you really just gotta cut ties with people like there's no reason every time y'all together it's always something like why to me and i and i and i like ivy for what she gives you know what i'm saying but ivy is a walking disaster and that's not me being that's just what I see Ivy is a walking disaster she's a puppet for the other side they be having her on live dancing and falling and just making a big ass fool of herself you don't need that type of energy around you especially when you're trying to upgrade yourself upgrade your life upgrade your situation you can't take everybody with you and you definitely can't take nobody like Ivy with you. And it's no disrespect to Ivy. But it is what it is. I don't need nobody around me that I got to argue with all the time. Or you want to get in my face. Or you want to fight me. You don't need that type of energy. At all. So that's what. I, and, I, and I like what Diamond P got up here and said. Like, what, what we might be looking at TV and you know how we as black women especially we look at certain things and be like damn why do they always got to act like that why yeah. do they all got to be I don't want to do that when comes to your show I want to see that and be like damn Pumpkin got her shit right that's what I want to do all that other shit just leave that to them hood rat chicks that want to do that I think you're better I think you I think you're better than that like honestly I really but Ivy you need to leave that where it is. No disrespect. Thank you. Hey, pumpkin. Hey, boo. I can't hear you. Okay, I don't know what happened. Um, this is just my opinion. As far as the um thing with Ivy, um, I don't have nothing against Ivy. I think that when it comes down to you and Ivy, when however your show supposed to go, I just think that if it's something that you have an issue with Ivy with, you just need to kind of talk to her. Y'all need to talk 
one-on-one -on -one so that Ivy can have an understanding of the standards that you are looking for her to have while pro trying to produce and film this show. Because Ivy is just Ivy. If you've been watching Ivy for a long time or whatever, Ivy is just Ivy. And sometimes I feel like, you know, some people just don't know how to, you know, basically talk to people because sometimes you do have to sit them down and say okay look i know you used to doing this but however this not the type of show this is this is what we're looking for that's mm -hmm. just my opinion i just think it's just a simple conversation that just needs to be taking place that's all that's just my opinion hey boy how you doing hey boy i'm fine Look, you know I'm from the side. Whenever you need me to do, I will be um, ready to come and help. Um, first, you need to assign them when y'all next, you need to get another Airbnb or a place where you like again, and then assign them rooms that has to be clean before they leave them motherfucker. that is assigned to them. And make sure that's in the non-disclosure agreement. Let me tell you something. It's already been disrespect as far as rules go. I don't even mm -hmm. want to go. I don't even want to go down that road no more. When it's, start over, B. Yeah. Start over. They start over. Like you know, it's already the concept there. Just start over. Shoot, they change everybody. They change everybody and every damn thing. Just, you know, you making it happen and keep pushing and moving, you know? Yeah. Don't worry about I mean, it. But I, I want to know, like, when you do, so when I do my reality show and we get picked up, I'm going to have to put rules in the house for women, mm -hmm. like kids, and say, clean yep. up after yourself. Oh. Yeah, because they nasty in the motherfuckers. You can tell what they was doing before they was doing it. You feel me? So, just put that out there. Uh, Tip that we have the boot camp for your ass, too. Ask me for admin. Yeah. I took admin. Play that again. No, I'm waiting on you to finish. I'm I'm not disrespectful. I'm sorry, babe. But yeah, just stay focused. Start over if need be. And like they said, if, if you're not getting along with a motherfucker, now you know you gotta just throw that in the garbage all the way. It ain't no, you don't eat out the garbage, leave that shit alone. Yeah. People be, people be saying stuff and you trying to build bridges and they trying to tear down bridges. You feel me? Yeah. And I ain't got to talk about nobody. It's just there. It's up there. Period. But anytime you need me to fill in, do some more, walk through, I'm there. No worries. I do not care because I will shine. <laughs> And I'm not playing. I've been already saying that. And me and Stacey Love, we in the shot. We will walk through any any of that shit. Just say, meet me, and we on the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it. That's all. Don't worry yourself and think people. And, and if people like that who did that stuff, even if they even coming to help or visit, they got to sign non-disclosure agreements and stay in one area. And don't be fucking with shit and don't be fucking with other people's shit. Because if it's going to get go down like that, you get your ass whooped or pop. That's on you. What the heck you fucking with and doing all that nasty shit for? That stuff ain't right. Ain't no good karma to none of that shit right there. So, yeah, take care of yourself. Miss it's about some. It's about some punks jump up to get beat down. Ooh. Who? Who jumped up to get beat down? Sarah, I'm just waiting on to them get to talking. Go ahead. I'm 13. Eat a dick. <laughs> I'm about to drop her. Somebody I didn't cussed out before. Go ahead, mama. No disrespect. I didn't. First of all, when I came in your life. You gave me, I was talking shit about you and Ivy. You gave me admin. I never mm -hmm. asked for that. But I'm not going to let no motherfucking hoe, no bitch, no slut talk about my bitch. That's right. 
at the end of the fucking day, Ivy ain't had nothing to do with none of this motherfucking shit. She was sleeping pe- I don't know what you talking about, Tip Tip. You talking about Smith gonna let nobody talk about Ivy. They was sitting over there talking about me like a dog in Ivy Live. And it's like you kicking out all my supporters. And then when you go back over there with Ivy, I don't have nobody. And it's like, no shade. Like, when I came over there, they set up that about I got a diaper rash. They be talking all that hella crazy shit in the comments about me. Like, I don't understand. Like, and maybe I got, maybe, you know what? Maybe I got this thing on my, my forehead and skin slow. But Tiff, Tiff, that was very disrespectful to come in my box and do all of that. I took everybody at me, boo. I took everybody at yeah, me. Everybody. Everybody got the admin to today. Everybody. I first of all, when they posted that shit and Ivy laughed, I was the bitch that kicked them out. I was the one that kicked them out. Tip tip, I took everybody's admin. What are you? No, I'm not. I don't care about you giving and taking my admin. I don't care about that. I saw the one that posted that shit in Ivy Live. I don't. I was the bitch that kicked. The person out who said that shit about you. I said, I didn't know why you gave me admin. I was taking up for both of you. Tiffany, every time I, like, if I got a big event or some shit going on, I take admin and just let the people troll. I do this all the time. No, you just took my admin because you took my, I I keep your supporter. It was not your supporter. They didn't even have your motherfucking, um. I took your body admin and I I said to you, don't get it. I don't want it. Like I said, I told you, I didn't even know why you gave me admin, period. Well, it ain't no worries then. I'm not even mad about it. I'm just sipping saying that I'm not no, I'm not no motherfucking bias ass person. That person that would post that shit in Ivy Lab as that, that lottery shit, I kicked the fuck out their ass. Mm. I'm not mad of no fucking admin. I can't even get mad. Of, I'm fucking don't even be in your damn lab. I just started gifting your ass yesterday. Why would I be mad over a fucking admin? That's true. But I'm just saying, I didn't give a fuck about you taking this shit. It was just the point, like, uh, uh-uh, uh, you, I'm kicking your supporters. I, I would never. I, she said something bad about Ivy. That's why I kicked her. Because okay, Jessica, end, Jessica, let me just you know, between Jessica. you and Ivy, and nobody finna talk about no shit between you and Ivy. The same way Ivy over there getting her beans and her CAs, and people are talking, and she'll say, "Okay, y'all, y'all can say whatever y'all want to say, but me and Punk and Cool, that's one of my Cash App supporters." When you kick this, she just texts me. She said, "Punk, I just sent you ten dollars yesterday. Why, why I get kicked?" It's like, I don't like, I don't know, like, what's the big issue? Like, I don't, I don't know what the big issue is. Like, it's like, I, it's like some type of attack demon. It's some type of attack demon. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry. It's like y'all, it's like y'all just be like, any little thing jumps y'all up. Y'all just, y'all ready to go. Fuck what I got to say. Fuck, fuck how I, fuck how I'm going. Fuck everything. But Ivy got ran up like a fat cat and no goddamn pockets is nice and fat. Mm -hmm. I want to troll free zone today. What's wrong with that? Mm Mm-mm. I want. I want to get a dollar too. The more ratchet you is, the more they give to you. <laughs> for real, for real. No, she don't have a jealous heart. It's supposed to be all about who's doing and looking out. It's about I got a jealous heart. Well, you know what? Yeah. Hold on. If they say that's a jealous heart, I don't Hopefully. want God to change it, honey. What you gonna do? Why you saying do anything? Weirdos, they crazy. Yeah, hater. I'm let they ass troll today. I don't let them do that big one. They can do they big one and get kicked. Let me be admin. I'll make sure I stay biased and I get those cupcakes in last, like chocolate cakes in last. 
Be well, sis. Call me anytime. You know I inbox. Yes, ma'am. It's about some fucking let me join the show. Girl. Why y'all be so mean to people? I see your picture, boo. You really, I see your who is the fuck is <laughs> Why do that look like precious wall? <laughs> is that precious? Yeah, is that precious? Huh? No, cause like I know Precious got that polka dot wall. She put on a mask. Who is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who is she talking about? Who was Empress talking about? Thank you, babe. Oh, you finally made it home? I finally made it home, sister. Girl, so they didn't pee in your drinking shit, huh? Didn't wait no doodle on your clothes? Girl, no. Thank God, because I was scared when she said it. I didn't know what to do. Why would you sit up there and say some shit like that? That's what she said. That's what I asked her. It's sad. It's really sad. It is. They said that's low. They said that's low. That's crazy. I didn't know. Wait, Empress and Low been going at it. What did I miss? Oh my God, Addy number. When did Precious ever make anybody cry, boo? Stop it. Stop it. No, for real. Stop it. Okay? Stop it. I know y'all trying to paint this picture like, oh, Punkin, you the weakest bitch on the internet. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Precious can never make nobody cry about the reads that Precious do. Stop it. And let me just say this. Y'all can sit up and y'all can try to paint a picture, but guess what? Guess what? I stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with everybody that didn't like me, more so than your favorite broadcaster. Okay? When motherfucker ran up on me, they had to grab a weapon. So it doesn't matter. You talk about being scared. So it doesn't matter. You scared of that girl in the house? No, I wasn't. Let me tell you something. I stood right there. I didn't move. Scared of what? Y'all talking about, oh, you scared? You scared? Scared of what? Scared of what? Y'all talking about, some, you were scared. A motherfucker grabbed a weapon. It was just me and her. And I didn't have no mace. I didn't have nothing on but this. That's the honest to God truth. I didn't have no mace or nothing. And it's like, it's, it's like, every time something go on with me, y'all want to paint this picture like, oh my God, Punky, you're so scary. This happened and this happened and this happened and this happened. I didn't have no weapons. I 
I didn't. I was talking to all of them con. I was talking to all of them con. Thank you. Every situation I talk on. Why was you talking to I can't Cammy about Ivy? That's a, that's another lie. Cammy stayed live the whole time. That's another lie. Come with another one. Cammy stayed live for four hours. Use my charger and everything. I want the recordings and the receipts that I was talking about Ivy to Cammy. Because Cammy was live the whole time. So come with another lie. Nine hours. So come with another lie. She said, I want her to come attack Ivy. And you believe that? And you believe that? Why would I have Cammy to come attack Ivy? For what? Y'all didn't see when Cammy seen Ivy? They hugged. <laughs> what are you talking about? Cammy is a compulsive liar. Cammy will lie. Cammy will sit there with that motherfucker. Cammy lied about having a goddamn face job. Y'all is crazy. Y'all is sit up and believe Cammy. Cammy say, oh, she had me to tech. Come on now. When Ivy seen Cammy, they hooked. And it was like, oh my God, Cammy. Cammy was live when all of that happened. And I also was live when King B came in my box and said, Cammy is outside. I didn't even know Cammy was outside. So that's a lie. Tell Cammy to show any receipts that I talk to him. Or I text him about tacking Ivy. I'm waiting. I bet you there's none. Because I was in my room. Laying in my bed. And me and King B was talking. And King B said, I'm happy Cammy is outside. I said, Cammy. Because remember. Remember I was live when they said Keith and KLB walked through the door. Remember that? Cammy didn't come over there for me. Cammy came over there to meet Keith. Or to see Keith. Or to be around. And I also told Cammy, Cammy said, they gave me twenty dollar to go wake up to go wake up uh Ivy. I said, Don't go wake up Ivy. Please don't. I said, please do not go in there and wake her up. They said they're gonna give me $20. I'll go in there and wake up ID. So he so he's like, I said, I said, Cammy. I said, if you go to that door, and let me remind you, when Cammy came through the door, Cammy like, where keep that? Where keep that? I said, keep because I thought keep it downstairs. I said, keep downstairs. Cammy went straight downstairs. I don't see no gee. I don't see no gee. I said, I said, well, I don't know. She's like, Ivy, what did that? What did that? And, and, and Ivy said, Keith went to the store. Five hours later, Kimmy was like, Keith did at the door. Keith did at the door. I thought Kimmy said he was at the show. So everybody's in the comments like, Kimmy, you weird. Why are you worried about Keith? So KLB was gone. KLB came back. Because KLB was talking, you know. Talking and having fun, talking shit, swallowing spit, drinking, having a good time. KLB went to, KLB went down there. He laid down. He was drunk. Cut the lights out. He was asleep. Kim said, "Why KLB down there laying on that couch? Why KLB down there laying on that couch?" I said, "Can we leave KLB alone? Leave him alone. Cause if you go down there and you fuck with him and he get up, he gonna fuck you up." I said, "Can we leave KLB alone?" I don't understand why KLB said down there that day to the end of Am I lying? Am I lying? Am I 
Am I, I just want to know, am I lying? I love the ones that gave me down there for fuck. I'm about to go down there. I said, Cam, you, you're not. I said, Cam, you sit down. You're not going downstairs. Leave KOB alone because he will attack you. Stop. Because the first thing he go down there, fuck with KLB, guess what's going to, guess what Cammy was going to do like Cammy did me? Sat in the house, talking all loud, talking shit to me. And the moment that I got up and was like, Cammy, get out. I'm a trans woman. I'm a trans woman. You don't treat me like that. I'm a trans woman. Okay. So, so basically, basically, Cammy wanted to go down there and fuck with KLB. Then, then he started talking crazy in the kitchen. I said, I said, Cammy, I said, stop. Why are you so worried about what KOB is doing? Stop. Out there, there, why are you here? I'm like, it's weird. So then I was like, Kevin, just go upstairs. Just go in my room. Go in my room. Go in my room. I walk in the room. I don't know about KOB. I don't know about KOB. I don't know about KOB. Like, Kimmy is crazy. Kimmy, I'm like, Kimmy is crazy. What is Kimmy talking like that for? Talking about KLB. So I said, okay. So now we are, let's go past. They told me I think twenty dollars I go wake I be up. They give me twenty dollars, I go wake I be up. I said, I said, I said. Do not go in there and wake Ivy up. Please do not go in there and wake Ivy up. I'm one in there wake Ivy up. They done about twenty dollars. I said, Kimmy, please don't go in there and mess up. I said, please don't go in there and mess that you know, mess that girl up and wake her up. Please don't go in there and do that. Hold on, y'all. 